Bro, Stop. when I was one this, when I was one this, I thought like you, like Abraham saw Jesus and he didn't kill him. This this revelation, this understanding didn't come to recently. When when I came to the truth, my right. eyes were open. Right. So I didn't always believe this. I didn't understand this. No, he's not talking about him existing. He was bringing, existing. You bring other things into the text. That don't no, I'm sense. bringing. I'm bringing Bible. You, yeah, you're bringing stuff that's not in. The Show context. me a scripture where Jesus said he preexisted. Show me where Jesus said he was. He was there with Abraham. You cannot prove it. I, Dude, are you missing this? Are you really you know, missing this? You're not agreeing with anything of what the text is saying. You're just trying to bring metaphors in. Oh, I'm not means- bringing no metaphors in. I'm telling you what it is. Okay, so let me ask this one thing before. You how go. did Abraham could? How could Abraham have killed Jesus? He it didn't say Jesus was 33 Jesus. years old. Jesus how was you, born thousands you, of years you, after Abraham. Uh, hey, nieces and nephews, Uncle Jay here. So my purpose is to come before you and to encourage you. And I want us to walk in that dominion, in that power. With everything going on, the pandemic, gas prices rising, divorce rising, bad economy rising. Many are losing their faith, giving up on God, asking the question, where is God? Even you have thought about giving up. You need encouragement. You need motivation. You need to hear a word from God that you can make it, that you're more than a conqueror. When everything is being taken, we give you voice. We help you to stand for what you believe and dare you to be different. Shop jeonline.store where you find the best in Christian and motivation apparel. Hey, niece and nephews, Uncle Jay here, jeonline.store, where you find the best in Christian motivation apparel that empowers you and dares you to be different. I'd like to welcome you to my channel, Coffee with Uncle J.E. Thank you for coming in, having a cup of coffee with your Uncle J.E. I hope all is well with you, that you trust in Jesus Christ. But I hope you all enjoy this video. And I've been getting a lot of questions and comments, and I appreciate your input and your engagement. I make sure you share, like, comment, you know, subscribe to the channel. Always remember, head always up. In verse 56, your father Abraham rejoiced to see my day and he saw it and was glad. So, uh, and the Jews recognized him that he's saying that he existed in Abraham's time because the next verse says, then the Jews said unto him, you're not even 50 years old. You saying you've seen Abraham? So he, the Jews understood what he was saying. He, he said not. that he existed in that time. And then Jesus uh, reaffirms that he was in, uh, in Abraham's existence time period because it says, Jesus said unto him, I say unto you, before Abraham existed, I I am. He was before Abraham because God promised Abraham his seed would come through Isaac. The seed of the promise but will come that, through Isaac. That, when uh, Abraham went to sacrifice Isaac, God stopped him. So Abraham didn't kill him. He rejoiced to see his day because he saw that God will provide for himself a sacrifice, that he wouldn't have to sacrifice the seed, which was in Isaac, which was Jesus, before Abraham was, I am. So he didn't sacrifice that seed that was in Isaac. So Abraham rejoiced to see his day. God is going to provide for himself a sacrifice. Why did, how come the Jews in, are not interpreting the same way you're interpreting it? It says because they, they didn't said, understand. The Bible says, what, you eight, are eight, years old and you've seen it. So they literally believed they understood what Jesus was saying in the context. They didn't They're understand what Jesus was saying because the what verse what eight and twenty four or twenty seven or something like that. It said they did not understand. He was talking about his father. They didn't understand what Jesus was talking about. Okay, then how come in? Okay, the, based upon what I said, the Jews Jews are saying it differently than what you're saying. And then the verse, Jews, they the, these Jews right here, are, you can't believe what they're saying because they didn't understand what he was talking about. It says that. Uh, Jesus said, have you come to kill a man who told you the truth he heard from God? How come in John 8, 38, now you're, uh, you're saying it's talking about the sacrifice, even though they're saying that they literally believe that Jesus is saying that he ex- existed previously. Now, how come in John 8, 38, which is like 16 verses before that, uh, it says, I speak that which I have seen with my father. I, ye do not, do ye do that which ye have seen with your father. In other words, you're saying your father's the devil. And they answered and said unto him, Abraham is our father. Jesus said unto him, if ye were Abraham's children, ye would do the works of Abraham. Remember, the Jews are about to kill him. 
But now, verse 40, but now you seek to kill me, a man that hath told you the truth, which I have heard of God, this did not Abraham do. Jesus said, they were trying to kill Jesus, and Jesus said that Abraham did not do this. Abraham did not try to kill me, but you guys are trying to kill me. This is, this is in verse 40. Uh, in verse 38, 39, and 40, the context shows that, uh, that there, Abraham did not try to kill Jesus, but you guys are trying to kill me. And That's this going is back what, to John 5, 8, 5, 8. Or and this is what I'm trying to explain to you because Jesus, the seed, because even what Paul talked about, not seeds, but seed, because Jesus is that seed that promised that was going to come through this, through Isaac. Abraham didn't kill that seed. He didn't kill that promise that was in Isaac. That's what he's saying. But if you are children, if you are children of Abraham, you would do the same works that he did. He didn't You're kill me. Every scripture into a metaphor. Uh, I'm not turning every. That's what he's talking about, bro. What other way could Abraham have killed Jesus? Because he existed at the plains of Mamre uh, when Jesus show, showed up. At the three men showed that up. Was the the angel. Angel. That was one, the no, angel. That was the angel. One was Yahweh. One was Yahweh. And Yahweh, even if you say that was Yahweh, that was not Jesus. Jesus is not Yahweh. Jesus says he's ex Abraham. They didn't try. Abraham didn't try to kill me. Abraham actually gave them food. He that served. was not. That's not. That's not when when Jesus he can't kill God. Why would Abraham? If 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 Yahweh he came, God. He came, came, in a, uh, he came in the form of a man because it said three men. It still wouldn't be Abraham. Jesus. It said three. It said one was Yahweh and two were angels. Two two were angels that were. It still created. wouldn't be Jesus. It's say it's taking you to that event. It doesn't say Jesus. It doesn't say that those any of those oh, three men were say, Jesus. See, I can't do this. Just, just, just no. Like, it just, doesn't say any of those three men. Doesn't say any of those three men were Jesus. It's that's what this verse is taking you back does, to. It does 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 it say any of those three men were Jesus? Yes. No, it doesn't. What it's talking about. No, it doesn't. It's no, like it doesn't. you're trying to turn a metaphor, a real live event, into a metaphor. That's the only time that. That's the only time. If Abraham would have killed Isaac, there would have been no Jesus. James, if if Abraham would have killed Isaac, would there have been a Jesus? If, <laughs> ah. What do you mean? What do you mean? Ah, uh, he would have found another way. God, God's oh. sovereign, God oh. sovereign plan will always take place. God but promised God's the seed would come through his son. Happen. It would never happen because Bro. God knows all things. When God brings something, uh, then it'll happen. So uh, no matter what, you can't stop God's plan. You know what? You know what Abraham thought? Abraham thought if I kill my son, God will raise him back up because exactly. God promised. But God promised his seed would come through his son, Isaac. The seed would come through his son, Isaac. Exactly. So if he would have killed Isaac. He wouldn't have been able to. He, God would not have brought it. God, would God, would, God was testing Abraham, first of all. Yeah, that's why he stopped him. But, and if, and if but Abraham bro, understand God, what I'm saying. Understand, you don't want to hear this truth. God you don't want to hear this. God you don't want to hear this truth, James. Said, if God, if, if Abraham would have killed Isaac. Him. If Abraham would have killed Isaac, there would have been no Jesus. There would have been, been no I'm David. Sure he, God would have God would have stopped his arm. Matt supernaturally. He stopped him. Yeah, no, he didn't. God, Abraham did it on his own. Abraham, no, he stopped him. God stopped him with his God told him not to, but Abraham stopped The him. angel stopped him. He said, Stop. Hold up. If Abraham decided to disobey God, God would have stopped him supernaturally. Yeah, but I'm not talking about out of disobedience. You said, What if Abraham would have killed his son? That would have been disobedience. But God No, it wouldn't have been disobedient because God told him to go sacrifice the son. But then before he before he put his knife forward, he changed he told him no. He was No, he had the knife up getting ready to come down. Yeah, he had his knife up, and right when he had the knife up, about to plunge it in. God told him no, so but Abraham what, decided to obey God and and not not do it. But that's Abraham not what I'm saying. You you you're talking about something I'm not talking about. I'm talking about oh. what if what if God didn't stop him? The angel didn't stop him, and he killed Isaac. Yeah, what, Jesus no would not. There, there no would have been no Jesus. There would not have been, been no Jesus. No there there no would not have been, been no Jesus. Jesus. That's why Jesus said, "Abraham, rejoice to see my day." Into the text. I'm not adding nothing. I'm saying so I'm saying what's God there. Is. This is what I want you to understand. The Bible talks about how a man, when he's walking in the field, he finds like a pearl and he sells everything he he has and buys that field. The only thing I'm trying to say is there are deep things of God and, and you need 
the Holy Spirit to open up your eyes to different things that are in the scripture. Mm -hmm. There are hidden things. God is going to hide some things from certain people. He said, give your eyes to see that you may not see, ears to hear that you may not hear. He said, but to you, I speak plainly. The Holy Spirit leads and guides us into all truth. So it's certain things in the Bible God is going to hide from natural men. They're not going to see it. But the Spirit searches the deep things of God. You can't, <laughs> bro, it's, it's easy. Once God opened your eyes, it's easy. It's all about the promises. It's all about the covenants and the promises. Abraham was promised a seed and Isaac was supposed to be that seed that the promise was going to come through. If Abraham would have killed Isaac, the promise would have been done. There's no what ifs. There's no ifs in that. You can he would have. If That's why he said, that's why I said Abraham... Bro, I'm, sure, this, sir, I'm agreeing with you, but don't try to throw what ifs. No, right? if he would have, if he would have. There's no if. God is sovereign. I'm saying to you, this is why Jesus said Abraham didn't kill him. He didn't kill the promise. That's what you say, but that's not what the that's text what, that's, what, that's the only way that Abraham could have killed Jesus. That's the only way he could have killed him. He's saying, what the text is saying that is that Abraham didn't even try to kill Jesus, where the Jews are trying, he said, Jews, you're trying to kill me, but Abraham wasn't even trying to kill me. Well, understand, he understand what he's saying. Understand what Jesus is saying. Understand what Jesus is saying. You said you're Abraham's children. Abraham didn't kill me. So you would do the same thing Abraham did. You would be trying to allow the promise to be fulfilled in me. You won't <laughs> kill this seed. You this don't is know. This is Bro, it is. It's literally and everything. It's not a metaphor. You're trying, just like it, the, the Jews recognize. It's literal. Yeah, it's literal. The Jews recognize that he's speaking literally because they said you are not even 50 years old. So they know he was speaking that he existed with Abraham. Mm -hmm. Because exactly, exactly what I'm saying, exactly what I'm saying to you, there are deep things of God that the natural man is not going to, they, if you go to verse, what, 24, 27 it says, they did not understand he was talking about his father. They don't understand what Jesus is talking about. So, they don't know what he's talking about. They talking about Abraham is our father. Are you greater than our father Abraham? They didn't even know what Jesus was talking about. He, and then he goes on and say, "Have you come to kill a man who told you the truth he heard from God?" So who then uh, go on to temp chapter? He said, "Are you called? Are you saying I'm blaspheming because I said I'm the son of God?" They don't understand what Jesus is talking about, bro. Because they think he's a carpenter born of fornication. They think, yeah, yeah. How are you the king of the Jews and you're born in fornication? You're you're you're, you're a child of the devil. They call him a, a wine bibber. They call him child of the devil. All that Bezalel, the yeah, prince of the devil. I agree with all that stuff you're saying, but it's uh, it's, it's, it's not proving your point <laughs> at all. It's not well, you're not going to see it. I mean, you're not you're not going to okay, see so it. Because he's talking about he really existed back at that time. It's not. And it's bro, not when I was one this, when I was one this, I thought like you, like Abraham saw Jesus and he didn't kill him. This this revelation, this understanding didn't come to recently. When when I came to the truth, my right. eyes were open. Right. So I didn't always believe this. I didn't understand this. We both disagree on this. You think it's a metaphor, and I think he literally existed. Uh, because the, even the Jews recognized that the, he was trying to tell them that he existed because they said, you're not even 50. How are you saying you live, You were there with Abraham? No, nah, he was they in the seed. He was in the seed. Literally. The because Jews the promise, because he was the promise. The promise was before Abraham, before Isaac, rather. Okay, so, in, in, all right, you could say that. The promise can, was... He he called Abraham out of the uh uh, uh from it's child then. It's, it's not talking about a promise, it's talking about it Jesus. is about the promise. It's, I will make you great and I will make you the father of many I will make you the father of many nations. That is the promise. That's not what there's no promise in that text. He's just talking about him existing. He's that's what no, him. he's not talking about him existing. He you're was bringing, existing. You bring other things into the text that don't no, I'm bringing I'm bringing Bible. You, yeah, you're bringing stuff that's not. Show context. me a scripture where Jesus said he pre-existed. Show me where Jesus said he was he was there with Abraham. You cannot prove it. I just showed you 1 Corinthians 10, 9, where 
where they tested Christ in the wilderness and it, it, destroyed it, them it, with with serpents. And then in Numbers twenty one six, it says the Lord destroyed them with serpents. Bro, so isn't God. Jesus called the promise? Yes. Yes, he's the promise for the New Testament when he becomes flesh. Oh, he's the promise, man. Are you missing this? Are you really you're missing this? You're not agreeing with anything of what the text is saying. You're just trying to bring metaphors in. I'm well, not bringing no metaphors in. I'm telling you what it is. Okay, so let me ask this one thing before. You how go. did Abraham could? How could Abraham have killed Jesus? He it didn't say Jesus was 33 Jesus. years old. Jesus how was did, born thousands of years Abraham? after Abraham. Uh, even now you're misinterpreting the text it doesn't say uh abraham tried to kill jesus jesus said abraham i did not say that him. you did he say said that. abraham did not kill me that's what he did said not right try to kill me did not yeah did not do this so so, so uh, how can abraham how could abraham try to kill jesus he did he didn't he didn't try because he was with no him. how could he how could he because jesus existed with him he was he was at that when time. when i gave you uh uh Genesis 18 verse 1 and Genesis 19 24. It does not say Jesus was there. That's what the verse is referring to. The context is referring to Genesis. Genesis but the 18. Bible calls Jesus the promise, the promised seed that would come you, through Isaac. Talking, uh, other concepts that are not, not what we're talking about. I agree is is Jesus the seed that was promised through yeah, Isaac? I agree, but that's not what the text is talking that's about. How he, that's how Abraham could have killed Jesus. That's not what the text is talking about. It's Bro. talking about a literal time where Abraham I'm done. was with Jesus. Just continue to pray for me that I may decrease, that Jesus Christ may increase, that he'll be lifted up in my life, that he'll draw all men unto him. Always remember, head always up.